Hey there, everybody. Good morning. My question for you today to get things started. How do you go from failure to failure without losing momentum? That's our topic for today right here on 7 Minutes in the Morning. Stick around. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome to another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. And uh, hey, if you would do me a favor... It would be awesome. When you get here, if you'll drop a comment down there, just your name and where you're watching from, that would be fantastic. Always love to see that. Or listening, where you're watching or listening. By the way, if you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catching app, be it iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, whatever, um, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com sometime. That'll get you over to the right Facebook page where you can do what Abby just did. You can wave, say hi. And let me know that you're here. And you can join in the conversation with all of the fantastic people that join us throughout the week. All right. So today I want to talk briefly because it's another one of those hustle up days for me about this quote uh, I came across from Winston Churchill. It says success consists of going from failure to failure without the loss of enthusiasm. I think I said momentum. (coughs) <coughs> Excuse me. I think I said momentum in the open, but the point remains the same. And, and I want to use a story to kind of illustrate what we're talking about. I get, I mean, man, I started talking about football Tuesday on the radio show and got all kinds of grief from folks in the comment rooms. Not football season. All right, great. Here's a baseball example for you. Last year, 2018, Boston Red Sox lost. 54 games. They play 162 games in the regular season. They lost 54 of them. 54. That's almost a third of the games they lost. It means they were running right about 660%, right? Whatever that math works out to be. Lost 54 games. Two of the games they lost to their arch rival, the Yankees, by more than 10 points. In seven games, they didn't even score a run. And yet, they won the World Series. So, each one of those losses is a setback. It's an outcome that you did not, uh, maybe you anticipated it, but certainly not the outcome that you wanted. Okay? But every loss and every win is an opportunity to learn and grow. That's what I want you to think about today. Something, I want you to think about something you've been stuck on, something that's a law, something that is preventing you from moving forward. And as you just take a, you know, a second right now, think about that. It probably came to mind just like that because these are the kinds of things we tend to dwell on. When you have that in your head, I want you to think, okay, what can I learn from this? What can you learn from being beaten by your art tribal, which, by the way, they beat the Yankees in the World Series, so it all worked out. <laughs> what can you learn from losing by 10 runs? Right? Now, here's the trick. It's a learning opportunity. It's not a learning guarantee. An opportunity is like a puzzle, right? Right? You open a puzzle, tear it, they're in a bag now. So you tear open the bag, you dump all the pieces out on the table. The puzzles are spread all over the table. There is an opportunity there to see a great piece of artwork. If you put the work in to put all the pieces together. If you don't, then the opportunity was squandered. The pieces lay there. The, the, the beauty, the enjoyment unfulfilled because you didn't put the work in. All right. So it's a learning opportunity when you have an outcome that is not what you expected, not what you anticipated and not what you wanted. What is the learning opportunity that's ahead of you and how do you respond to that? Because, look, (laughs) 
is a, is a, <coughs> it's a great line out of uh, a <laughs> movie. Meet the parents. And uh, his bag's lost. And anyway, he's, he talks about, do you think in some crazy scheme to turn a profit, the, the suitcase company might have made more than one bag that looks like mine? In some crazy scheme to turn a profit, the puzzle company probably made more than one, ver- you know, one, one unit of that puzzle. So that opportunity exists for thousands of people. And every one of the people that open that puzzle, spread the pieces out on the table, have the opportunity to put in the work and see and, and, and experience the, um, the puzzle, the completed puzzle. But it's only afforded to those people that put the work in. Have to, and there's, there's work. And that, you know, maybe that doesn't sound encouraging. You just, you know, you've um, experienced... The setback, if you didn't get the result that you wanted, well, you know, that's why there's only one in sports. I think sports is such a fantastic analogy for life, but there's, that's why there's only one champion every year. Only one team put in the work. Now, a bunch of teams, there are even teams that won more games than the, than the Red Sox. They just didn't win the right games. Right. But they put in the work. So it's not look, it, it it's it's opportunity, it's consistency, it's tenacity. You gotta put in the work, you gotta put in the effort, you have to be there, play the right game to win the right game. All right, that's it for today. Uh anything special coming up today? Thursday? Nope, I don't think so. Uh so that means that the uh Today is Thursday, right? Yeah, it is. So the final encouragement for you today, be here tomorrow. Send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. Send me a message on the Facebook page, Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. If you have a question for Free Coaching Friday, we'll have that installment of seven minutes in the morning up next, the next day, tomorrow, (laughs) seven o'clock on Friday. You be here. Join me. If you can't join me live, be sure and catch the replay at seven minutes in the morning.com or your favorite podcast outlet. I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. You guys have a fantastic day.